Hey, what's up guys? No subscribers guy, back again. And isn't our street just looking awesome now? I absolutely love it. But, we've got one problem. The street we've built so far of our town only goes in one direction. Oh, it's only one, it's only one way street, it's only one a long way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start expanding out sideways now. The house, and the house over here. I've lined up a spot for us to place a house. I think it will fit. It's quite a big house, but I think it will fit. So, we're going to go up to here with our grey, some grey wall. Like so. Alright, there should do. That's a good starting point. Yep, yeah, I'm going to go across by 20. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we should go 20 again in that direction. So make it simple. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, how many we did there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then across by thirteen now. Let's just set it to a daytime setting. Probably about midday. So two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that is six, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's six. We're just getting paranoid. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now on the thirteenth, we just need to go straight across, straight all the way back to the. This is a really simple, easy house to make. I think it looks quite nice as well. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something's up here. One, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That shouldn't be there. That should. This should be only be seven long. And go forward by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then grab some dark oak and one away from the front there. Bring it across. Like so, she should have a gap of one, two, three, four, five. Now, what I've done is I forgot to do this, and on here, there should be another wall coming out here, like that. Like so. So, just place that there. So, now that inside is five along. We have a double wall there, but oh well. So, a quick bit of planning then. Where our door's gonna be. What's so one tree from this edge? There. Gap of four because I have a double door. And we're just going to grab an anvil because we're going to need that for later use. So this is where our door is going to be. We're going to leave a gap and have our first double window there. Alright, so this is it's just planning our front a bit. Planning what we're going to get. What we're going to do. Now grab the grey wall. So the height of the house overall is going to be five high. So it will be two, three, and four, and five. And the same here. Whoops, it is. Same there. So two, three, four, five. But five will be. Five will be where that cuts off. If I start to fill this in like this, so just bring bring it up to that level. Bring it up to that level. Then one windows go up by one, two, three. And then a dark oak wood. It's all in dark oak. Upside down stairs, and then cyan, some cyan, ooh, fancy, cyan stained clay, really nice, and a clay, clay, glass panes that look, I think look really quite nice with the, the whole look of the building. And just fill this in for now. We that'll be stairs. Yeah, that'll be stairs there. I think I've gone. We have gone one too high, so. We'll remove that, bring us 
that down like that. And one, two, upside down like that. Okay. Now for future reference, one, two. So two away from there, two away from there. And I'll bring that up like that, and bring that up like that. And then in between, anvil, anvil, and anvil, anvil. Uh, we could replace them with grey wool. That might do us a bit better. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm going to put grey wool there. No, actually, I'm going to put wood. I'm going to use the wood. I use the wood because I think the wood looks nicer. And I'm going to finish it all off with a porch thing that kind of comes out like that. That looks like that. You can add any extra code of kind of detail you want on top. Like so. Right. Right, right, right. Then we're then just gonna raise all begin to raise all the other walls on the front to the same height. Just because for some reason I love I love to get the front done first. It just makes me feel like I've accomplished something with my build. <laughs> Alright then, so we'll just bring that back up, and up, and up, and up, alright, so like that, <laughs> wonderful, and bring that, this one up, two, three, four, and five, just to mark out there, but at the back, centre, boom, window, window, either side. Dark oak, dark oak, upside down wood though, it was upside down stairs, I didn't like that, so there is a bit of a overlap gap here if you could see, but you know, that's really hard to see so it doesn't really matter, <laughs> and we'll just fill the rest of this wall up with grey wool, now I haven't actually looked at this in the default texture pack yet, but you know, hopefully it'll look good in both the default texture pack and the one I'm using as well. So yeah, we fill that up like that. Okay then, so we've got quite a lot of our front done already. I am then just going to get some dark oak. Let's place a second layer up here. Place that like that. Bring the third layer, the fourth, fifth, the fourth layer like that. And have three windows in the middle on the third layer, so you have a, eventually come out with something looking like that. And then just going to place, just just going to want to place that on there like so. Okay, looking great so far. <laughs> I love it. So here on this side, now we're going to go in by one. Mark out where a window is going to be. One, two. We'll have another gap of two. And then we'll mark out one, two, where another window is going to be. So we'll mirror this on the other side. So one, one, gap of two. One, two grey wall. Dark oak, gap of two, there, there. This is what it'll look like now. I'm starting to mirror it on each side a bit. Then you can just bring this grey wool up first, and then we'll put the windows in afterwards. Like so. And bring that one across. And bring that one across. So you got in this, uh, this so far. Getting this so far. Okay, got in this? You got in this, bro. No. You're getting this so far. <laughs> You're already getting this, which is lovely. And again, if I can put it in correctly, <laughs> upside down stairs, upside down stairs, and then of course the cyan stained glass. Whoop! Boom! Like that. Wonderful. Awesome and brilliant at the same time. So simple yet so cool. And we'll do the same on the other side. So finally now, once we've completed this building, our, our streets, our city, our, our town, whatever you want to call it, 
it's finally starting to uh, get off that one linear road that I built there earlier. It's now starting to uh, take shape, if so to say, and uh, finally become finally become more slowly more city-like. One day, <laughs> one day we'll have an awesome town. And it'll be great. So then, of course, the uh, old cyan wall on the uh, cyan wall. Cyan glass panes on the inside. Now we've got this last wall here. So what I was thinking, what I was thinking is going in by one, two, three on each end. One, two, three. That's an extra two. Dark oak, gap of two, dark oak. Dark oak, a gap of two, dark oak. Dark oak, a gap of two, dark oak. Like that. So we've got three windows. Could do two, but I really want to put three in because because it's, it's, I can, to be honest. No one could stop me. <laughs> no, it's because I think it looks really nice. So yeah, moving on, we've got the continuation of building. We're not moving on just yet. We just need to finish this off like so. What? There you go. And then put them in there. Now this is a really easy build, but I think it was quite nice. So you know, pretty much anyone can do it. Any any skill level. You don't need to be an architect or an expert at Minecraft to be able to build a house like this. Nice, and, and I think, but frankly, this is good looking. This this is good. It's a good house. I like it. So I'm doing it. So just do this here and here. And then here and here. Okay. So we've got three windows in there and two windows on the sides. And this is what we look like from the front. Just wonderful. Just, just awesome. Bit of light. Looks like that. So yeah, quite like this little porch area with the uh, thing, but it might interfere with the cars coming in out the garage. So we may have to move in a bit. But we'll see. Door, door. I'm using wooden door because it fits kind of the dark wood theme. And then, of course, a a door in here into the garage. And then you could put a door in here to make some sort of doorception. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> you can have one door here. Okay, just our main walls built. But I do say we have the roof to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs and place them all along here, all along the, just the top of the roof, just one layer of slabs all along the top of the roof. Okay, all along here. All along here. And there's some sheep over there. Beauty of the world. Damn it. Alright, like that, and then the final long stretch along here, and then we should be done. With this part, got a lot more to go. And I will also have another roof, so we'll do it again for the top of the garage, but the garage will have a slightly separate roof, if you catch my drift, to the uh, main house building. It's a garage, kind of detached sort of thing. Alright, we're done here. So, what we're then going to do is I'm going to go on this layer just below, so the top layer of the one below, and place these like so. so all up here. Like this. Catching what I mean. So it's slightly one down. Now we're going to miss out the corner one, so we've got that look going. So it looks like that. Easy, simple. And then we're just going to bring this along, whoops, like so, keep bringing this along, and do it again on the other side here. And then on the final side as well, it just gives the building a little bit more detail and kind of hides away all that, all that grey wall we've got going, <laughs> forgot its name for a second then. And we also forgot to fill in some wall at the back here. 
can't be doing that, people will be able to come into our house. Right, so then you start to have to go one up. So as you go in one, you go one up. It's kind of hard to explain, it's better just to demonstrate what I mean. But you know what I mean. So like this, it goes up by one, and inwards again. So we'll be doing that like this, and we're doing it for the main roof as well. But, you know, it's easier just to demonstrate on the garage roof, which is a lot smaller and a lot quicker to build. And then, like so, so you bring it up like that. And then, of course, finally up again. And because I'm a perfectionist, like that. So we've got that sort of look going for our roof. Which I think is, is a rather, probably the best, most appropriate roof to put on a house looking like this. To be frankly honest with it, with you. Okay then, so we're going to have to do this for the main roof as well. It should, shouldn't take too long. Oh, I missed that one there. So we just do that and then bring it in. And bring it across. And bring it across. Really simple and really easy. And then again on the next layer. And whoop, don't go too far. So we get out of range of being able to press it. But yeah, you catch me drift about what, what kind of roof we're doing on this one. So this leave a nice big space inside, but I don't think I'll be up for interior decoration today because, let's be totally honest, I'm not very good. I might do it off camera and then show you in a later episode about what I've done, but you know I'm not going to do it this episode. If you like interior decorations, I might do a separate episode on it, but I'm not very good. In fact, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm not the best at it, but that's what I'll do. I'll go and after this, we'll finish on a little separate episode decorating the interior of this. Giving separate inspiration for the interior decorations. You catch my drift. <laughs> you do catch my drift. Of course. And then bring it across. And bring it across. And we're almost done with the roof now. One more layer up. Bring this across. Bringing it back. Bringing it there. Bringing it there. And then bring that a layer up. Finally, to come back. Goodness sake. Finally, to bring this in like so. Done. Done. Diddly D. Indeed, yeah, we're finished now. To finish that, now, what I was thinking is maybe using some sort of gravel, or some sort of gravel, just gravel, as to where the car will be. So, in all these spots here, Place some gravel. How does that look as a driveway? I think it looks alright. Not, not half bad. Not 100% sure, but I think it's okay so far. Oh. Nope. Grass block. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start bringing this across here, kind of having to avoid our porch a little that we made but, oh well just looking at that, and then we'll go across the one like that
Just figuring out how how best to make it look the nicest. Now bring it right up to the road here. I think yeah, that's the best way to do it. It's kind of a sharp turn for the car, but yeah, it can be made. Probably extend that out by one there a bit more. Bit thin here. That'll do. That'll do. That that makes it better. All right. So there you, there's that. So to finish the yard, let's grab some oak saplings and some bone meal. We'll put ourselves a nice tree in our in our front garden. And about here. Let's bone meal it up. There we go. And then bone meal the rest of the garden in. Around the house. Actually, nope. This is where we're going to be walking in. Yeah, put something in there like that. Maybe, maybe just to give a bit of extra privacy. No, not that one. These ones here, on the back level, make them. Yeah, make them that new double plant up. It's get, it looks like it's getting a bit of extra privacy. So yeah, there we have it. We have ourselves a house, a house indeed. A simple, yeah, I think quite nice, uh, grey wool sort of house. I think it's alright, it's quite nice, it looks alright. It's an easy build. It's one of them easy builds that, you know, doesn't take long to do. It can come out quite nice in the end. So, that is all. That is all. I've been the No Subscribes Guy. Please don't forget to like, favourite, and so please do subscribe. And just thank you for watching.